Hello and welcome to Tights TV, Neil Ellis here and today I've got Steve on so we're going to be previewing Derby County game and looking forward to uh, another own game, Bristol Rovers. So Steve, uh, great to have you on again mate. Um, what's your tech on Derby County game? Because, you know, a lot of people, myself uh, included, saying it, we were unlucky. Well, I, I, to be honest, Neil, I've only seen goals, I'll be honest with you. But, uh, but I've read like reports from certain people who went to games and that and, and they said first half we were poor defensive defensively poor mm. and second second half we had a go and we could easily have got got a point or mm. got some after it but I've seen goal uh, I'll give you a view on goals I thought we are looking at it again I thought Collins were poor for that first goal when cross coming mm. Uh, and then obviously, obviously, second goal, we want to tackle, won't we? Yeah. Uh, I forget who it was who's played ball in up to forward. It Defenders won, uh, kitch, it, uh, Kitchen played it to Styles, and then it went forward, and then we lost it in midfield. And then it, it come back again. Ah, the, the 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 brock the brock right. Well, it got knocked knocked over to the left. And kids turn put a ball in that wing, and but he's got uh, nobody's trapped. Uh, Mendes Lang running. Nobody's tracked him. Yeah. Uh, when, when you watch it again, goal, you can see him, and nobody at all is run, is run 30 yards to edge it box. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Some right. people are saying it were like a bit like midi copied uh, Plymouth, it was saying then. Yeah. We had nobody were tracking back, wasn't it? Well, I, that, I think that was Styles at Plymouth. I'd have to look yeah. again at, Dar at Derby one. But like uh, Benson's got us back in it, like, and like back. Like I said, but re, uh, re, things what I've heard from people who went at match and what I've read on various forums, they said we, uh, on another day we might have got some out of it. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but, I mean, how I looked at it is that in first half, we weren't in races. Second day, he must have given him a rocket up ass and we came out and we, we did take it to him. I mean... I think it, I mean tackle on uh, Thomas were horrendous. I mean knee, you know it was studs through knee, and now that were yellow. I don't know, but again, you know we it's bit uh, Aitchison missed a, uh, a chance, and people saying if Marsh had been there, he'd have put it away. Should have, we should have got a penalty, and even some of Derby County fans have been saying on some of the forums and saying you know it was a game of two halves. You know them were in yeah, first half and not we were in second I, half. Yeah, I've seen that. I've, I've seen some Derby fans. Uh, I'm, well, I've not seen that t uh, tackle on top. Did he have to go off then, Thomas? No, well, that, that's the weird thing about it, right? And this is a uh, Derby counter were kicking off because as it tackle, it came in, it was bad. I mean, you could see marks on his knee. Physio came on, tread him, but Thomas never went off. Ref allowed him to carry All right. on. And I'm thinking, well, that's refreshing because normally a player goes off and they've got to wait to come back on. When second mm. day from their play went down, they had to go off and come back on. So mm. <laughs> I don't know what ref were doing, Ben. I think he had a, a brain, you know, a bit of. Uh, well, uh, I won't. I'm hoping he's. I hope he's all right then for mm. tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, 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 it, it's all get rest at game, Mark. Uh, it, you know, I think it one more. I think it one of them if ground had been a bit softer and his studs had been still in ground kind of thing and twisted. But I think it, you know, it caught him and it didn't. It just like mm. marked him, if you know what I mean. So it was good to see him carry on, but I think if if ground mm. had been a bit softer, it could have been a, a, a bit of a nasty uh, challenge and could have uh, yeah. some ligaments in it. So yeah, I mean we've got Bristol Rovers a, a midweek game, and it's going to be one of these like now. It's going to be a week and a midweek, week and midweek coming up because we've got obviously Leeds at Carabao Cup week after next week. Um, yeah, and some people are saying that they'd like to see Norwood start alongside Marsh, you know, to game a go. Would you would you check out up from Derby game? Well well, I was gonna say say to you, I've, I've actually been on about it today with a lad who I went where he went to Derby. What did a second play? What a second I, you know me I'm sorry for being a bit ignorant with all this. I didn't see t team or all subs, you know what no, I mean? Because he wants even on bench uh is what, what well, this is what I'm saying. He come on at Middlesbrough, though, didn't he? Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. So I'm beginning. It's not. It's it's not. Duff must not fancy him. It's weird, isn't it? It's a weird call. Because 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 I'm thinking Gamer run. Hmm. 
But I call, I said to you last week, I would all fucking call 10 games. Mm. I'm not for, I'm not, I'm not all for uh, playing them and then week after not playing them. Mm. I, I, I don't think they can get a continuity player. True. Whoever it is, whoever it is, I think me, if you go, no one's probably your main striker, so I'm all for getting Cove and 10 games with no one, or the second mm. 10 games with no one. Mm. But when when the, when it's chopping and changing, it's hard to get the, the thing. You can't gauge it, can you? You can't get, like you said, that continuity, that consistency. Yeah, that yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, and I know it's a results-based business, and obviously the uh, manager's coach picks his best side, what he thinks he'll do the uh, best job on that particular day, whoever the opponents are. I, I totally get that. But it, sometimes, like I said, with players, you don't get... I think we call it might, uh, a lot of confidence things, confidence a goal, and it might mm. kick him on, you know what I mean? A second, same. But if we're not going to use a second, we need to get him off books, for me. Yeah. yeah. We need to get him off books and get... Uh, get his weight, get him, his weight is off, get him salt, but there might be, we don't know, we don't know, they might be trying to get offloaded, we don't know that, do we? Yeah, true, and I'm but, just going back to like, we, uh, confidence and stuff like that, it's great to see such as Benson and Thomas, you know, didn't have the best season, but this season, they seem to be playing for Duff, you know what I mean, they seem to be wanting to yeah. do stuff under him, and well, I think it's that confidence and consistency again, isn't it? Well, it's it's a new it's a new start. So obviously, Dust everybody gets a clean slate. Dust work with Benson, uh, Burnley, any uh, yeah. youngins. Uh, but I I did say to Benson, I think this will be his level, mm. and you might see it best of him in this, uh, whether he gets back. He can progress into championship. That's another uh, issue. Uh, but with Thomas, like I said, I think it what. A lot of his confidence and the mental things with him. Mm. And it's been getting a fresh start. And I'd like to think that Duff's had an arm, puts an arm around his shoulders. It, it comes across, that's what he might need. And certain players, arm right shoulder, and tell and give them all spiel, if you know what I say. Mm. Tell them how good, you know what I mean? Mm. That's what he comes across. Because, listen, in flashes, before he went out on his lawns here, there, and everywhere, in flashes, when he got ball and run at him, I thought he was as good as out and dangerous, but it was just end product. There were no end. He seemed to be caught between, he'd pass it when he ought to shot, or shot or shot yeah. when he should have passed it. You get, but a lot of that comes with experience and game time, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Mm. But... I, I don't mind him, me. He's enough, but like I say, it's it's probably confidence for him. Like in that game against Cheltenham, will have done it world of good. But yeah. I didn't hear how he played. I don't know uh, who got applauded for man at match on Saturday. It, was, ben, it was Benson, Benson. actually. Yeah, Benson. Because oh, right. that, and what, what I but, saw in him and all is that he was wanting ball. He was trying to drive it forward. You know, he was. That's good. Then that's good. He, he won't shine away from out. He was like, give me the ball. I want to, I want to run it. And, want, and I'm thinking, do you know what? It's like building off that from Middlesbrough game because he scored a goal. Mm. Beer, and like you say, it takes up one goal and it raises yeah, his game. Yeah, it does. Else, doesn't it? You know, it knock, knocks on, doesn't it? But, but I, thought he, I thought he did all right against Cheltenham as well. Hmm? Hmm? I thought he did all right against Cheltenham last, uh, last, yeah, last week, uh, mm. Benson. I know Thomas got mad at match, uh, but Benson did all right. And like I said, I think it's a bit like Mowat in a sense, isn't it? He lost his way a bit with Leeds. Mm. Come to us, we found him out, and he come back stronger. Obviously, he went out of law, come back stronger. Leave. Sometimes, nearly you have to go backwards to come forwards, don't you? Not, sure. only, indivi not only individually, uh, play individual players, but collectively as a team. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? You know that's what I mean? True. You yeah, and it's like what you're on about there with Thomas. I mean, Joey Barton know a lot about him. Obviously, he had him mm. at Bristol Rovers last season. So you take on Joey Barton at Bristol Rovers because he's he's going to be playing something decent. He's up in you know he's up in top. I know mean, it's all these stages like like, but mm. I mean un, under Joey Barton, you know what you're going to get. Kind of thing is 
where, where he's been before Fleetwood and that. What are you expecting, Bristol Rovers, to you know what what kind of It'll game? Be you game. From them? It'll be a tough game. It'll be a tough game. It's probably a bit old school, isn't it? Like, but mm. it's old school. It's, it's play, like I say, it's played re, up to recently, 2012, which in ages ago. Uh, we are going back to Thomas. I don't know whether the ta- is, did he did he not try and sign him. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it was from a like paper talk saying very well. It's taking back to Bristol Rovers and Mr. Over, but I think you know under what Duff's doing and what he's getting, you know, a tune out of him if. Thomas is happy at Barnsley, then... Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. All right. Thomas must have must be happy at Barnsley. Else. You know what I mean? If, they, if they're not going to be happy and they're unsettled, you let them go, don't you? You let them yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but no, going back to Barton, that, look, look, he looks a bit to the... I mean, he's worked under Warnock and various other managers and that. It's probably his old school. I mean, a lot don't like him because of, uh, obviously, what went off with Stendhal and that. Mm. But I know he's a bit of a... Be careful what I say, isn't I? <laughs> <laughs> say you know, you yeah, I'll say he's a bit of a scally because he's a scally, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. He's a scouter. Uh, and he has done things... Two or three bad things were in that order. Yeah. But when I used to watch him play, it was like you looked at him and you wanted him on your side because hmm. he'd, 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 he'd uh, get it senses with and go to war, would it? Roll sleeves up and get stuck in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, so it, that probably comes across in his uh, coaching as well, in his managing. managing uh, Pluck and like you've got Adam Spice. So I know Stendhal's not here no more, but hmm. you've got that bit of Adam Spice to what went, did go off when Stendhal was here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. I don't, has, has court case happened? Yeah, it's happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he get? Did he? Did he get for not guilt? Yeah, we want to be like if there's no one six over and you know it all got well, that, didn't it? Like so. I mean, I know things do go off like, but and I know like in this. Pass, he's passed. Check, he's got a check of pass in here, and, he mm, mm. and it it don't it don't go it don't don't go well for him. A lot don't like him, and that do they like? I mean, apart from that, a couple of incidents, he's a winner on pitch. I get that, but there's yeah. a there's a fine line between going overboard in the like, yeah, 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 what you can and can't do. He's, yeah. he's a winner on pitch, you know, and sometimes. Like I said, a player like that in the middle of the arm midfield, like he used to be. You know what I mean? But I know we've got Kane to come back and we've got Wolf and that. Uh, but it'll be a tough game. It'll have more, it'll, they'll be organised. It'll be organised. It'll be organised. I think I think what they'll do, I mean, they've, they've won two and lost one, haven't they, league? They're yeah. up in, they're, like you said, it's early days. Uh, I mean... They're on, uh, go on. They've got momentum from the promotion. I mean, mm. promoted up, prom- well, promoted up last day on goal, scored 7-0. 7-0, wasn't it? 7-0, that seventh goal got them up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, moment- they've got momentum from that. And uh, I noticed he scored Saturday, didn't he, Marquis? Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lad who won at Donny, who we were linked with, a few years back when he was at Donny and he went to Portsmouth because mm. uh, he'd have been handy with us even mm. now yeah even, even now uh, he's, he gets goals in this league in uh, league one and two he can, he'll get the, he'll get your goals in he's, he's handy he's handy like uh, it'll be a tough game I think he'll set him up he might pack midfield like with one up front mm. I don't know I, I see like I'm not I've not seen them play and I haven't looked at how, how they play. But usually that's what teams do when they were away from home anyway. Don't they? Yeah. First, first period of game and then see how game pans out and then go from there. But I, I feel that minute in time, I know it's early, but we lost at Plymouth, we've lost on Saturday at Derby. I feel we've got to uh, pick us points up at home early mm. on. Mm. Early on. You know, mm. till we get us, till we get, 
team what's settled. Yeah. And Duff, and Duff knows his tactics because it's still early days for Duff. Knows which players he wants there, here, there, and there. It's going to be tougher away from home. Do you think, Steve? Feel- yeah. Do, do you think, Ben, Steve, we just saying that about a settled side? Do you think Duff's more or less got his settled side? Do you think there's well, the one, maybe two players he'd like him to make it settled? Well, I know he likes to play 3 5 2, and I've read some things on forum. Some from some fans saying we ought to go to 4 4 2. Mm. And somebody did mention playing Thomas. I think I told last week if you've got, like, say, Benson and uh, Luca Collin in the middle or, or Kane when he's back. I did say to you last week about playing yeah, yeah. Thomas. Thomas behind Norwood. Just behind them two. And somebody yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Be, no, well, just behind Norwood, so not one in a one, like. Hmm. But somebody, but people's been clamouring for 4-4-2. Four, for four, four, not loads. But like we keep saying, it's early and things do take time. I know we've had friendlies and that, but you're going into match days and still going to take time. It's 10 games, I keep saying. Hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? But, well, I still think we need a right win back. Yeah. He's all, Jordan Williams is all, he's all right, but you know what I mean? If we can get somebody else there. Uh, I'm like, that I think, I think what you need with right win back and all is like, for me, I'd like to see it so we're not too dependent on Jordan Williams, but also a competition to like, we've got to fight for the places inside. You know what I mean? So you want that Yeah, well, I get that. Yeah, I get that. And plus, plus, he, he gets a lot of injuries, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. he, get, he does, he misses it, he misses it. I love a lot of games. Uh, injured niggles here, here and there. So, yeah, yeah. totally get that. Uh, and I know I said to you about an experience in midfield. I'm happy with players we've got in midfield, but you always feel you need a, a, other leaders, other leaders. Yeah. Question. Uh, jury's out on that other leaders and obviously like I've mentioned to you when we first started a second if we're not going to play him get shot mm. obviously if he's keeping call fair enough and going to go away he's got 80 some marsh blah 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 we still need one or uh, definitely one mm. maybe two more strikers but mm. there's no sh- like you said no money Unless board are prepared to stump yeah. up cash themselves, because we're stuck in quandary still. We're still here now. We're uh, Ellick and Styles are still here. Mm. Yeah, and there's only like what two weeks, two and a bit weeks, and it's ended. Yeah, it? end of August. Yeah, and I can see it probably. Go, if I'm being honest, I can see it going to last eight season. Me. And well, then, I've said. Well, we're going to end up bringing loans in medals. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to end up with loans. We're going to end up with a couple, uh, two or three loans from Champ mm. or Prem. But they'll only be Burns. They'll, if yeah. the front Prem, if the front Prem, they'll be probably academy players. Mm. Uh, you have more chance of getting a bit. Uh, if the front Championship, you've got a more chance of then again some experience pros who's played about a bit. But from from Premier League, they're they're going to be academy players, aren't they? Like, yeah, much. which is which is all well and good for them, but is it what we need? Because are they going to make your side better? you don't mm-hmm. know, do you? You don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, somebody said we link well. It went on BBS. Uh, but they've, they've said it's fake. We link, we we link with uh, Lewis Graben and uh, um, uh, Mus, uh, and Moose, uh, who Moose, were at Sheffield, yeah. who were at Sheffield. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so. But then they, they say it's a fake, fake yeah. website uh, account, whatever it is. I mean, that, that both of them are handy. I did them both. Yeah, I did them both. I mean, like wages was a stumbling block, like but. Like, it's 34, though, now nah, grabbing. He can't be demanding this or the other. No. You know what I mean? He's made his money out of the game. He should be prepared to play for less than, you know what I mean? 
some of them are, yeah, some of them are greedy, aren't they? Though some of them are greedy. Yeah. I don't know with that moose. He looked all right. That moose. He was at Sheffield, wasn't he? Yeah, Sheffield. Yeah. Sheffield, I don't know. Yeah. Where's he been? Is, did he go abroad? I think he. Yeah, I think he got released. Kind of thing. He'd been about here, been everywhere, and now he's back. Yeah. Like the agent looking for a club, but if he's that mm. desperate looking for a club, like you said, they can't be demanding. You know, X amount yeah. of wages want to play, yeah. to play put his tennis shot window. Plus, of, plus so. yeah, well, Moosey can put his tennis shot window because he's at that age still. But like, mm. obviously, gra obviously, grab him. That gives him a one year, one year deal, and his mm. experience, Neil, experience in it's like normal, doesn't it? One year deal, yeah, yeah. <coughs> one year deal, experience in changing room or not training pitch. You know, you're not going to get uh, ninety out of. of Playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, midweek. Mm. You, you you look you look after them like uh, Norwood's not going to play much on Tuesday probably. Mm. Uh, many minutes, you know what I mean. Like you said, games are coming thick and fast. There's Leeds next week. Yeah, uh, there'll be that and Papa John's Trophy starting soon. Yeah, uh, I think there's another league game in a couple of weeks on a, a Tuesday night. So it's going to be they're going to be thick and fast games. And it's all about how you manage. Uh, well, our Duff managers and Patterson managers. Well, it, uh, team obviously, and, it's, it, it's going to have to manage Norwood, like minutes mm. wise. And, and it be, if if you've been grabbing it, grabbing it, it is. I mean, it, they did it at Forest with him. They put, if he started, they usually took him off after an hour. Yeah. Or, and, and, or if he wants something, bring him on uh, after an hour so he can get last day for an hour. So it swings and roundabouts for him, isn't it? Like, but he's he's not one to be. If we could get him in, I'd, I'd have him. And, and, oh, and right. I know you. I know you say people will be saying that, but Norwood and Grabber, the 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 legs, the many legs between them. But I'm looking at experience, no how footballing brain, aren't we? Yeah, get footballing brain exactly. If you get ball to them, they'll get they'll score goals. Yeah, they'll score goals. I get this about young ones running around, but sometimes. Sometimes, but younger sometimes ain't got that. Oh well. Mm. Sometimes but, you don't have to run about, do you? And, and, and you like well, the older, older players, you know, to good players don't run about. Do they? Exactly, exactly. So Bristol Rovers game, Steve. Um, prediction. I mean, uh, for me, I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on man, you go first. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, I was going to feeling it on. Um, and like you said earlier, we need to make Oakwell his own. He's got to be mm. a fortress. We've got to rely a lot on his own form. I'm going to say 2 1 Barnsley. Uh, I just think that either Benson or Thomas is going to score. And like to see, I mean, if Norwood starts or Marsh starts, I think one of the strikers is going to mm. score. But I think it's going to be 2 1. It's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be an hard game. I don't think they'll fetch many. I'm not really sure. Maybe be midway. Well, it's nah, Joey Barton, like you said. He'll set up a shot. Way. Yeah. He it will, it will set, it'll set stall out. I'm going to go 2-0 and I'll go, I'll say we'll score a goal for staff and it'll be a tight game. There'll be mm. no in it, no in it. We'll get first goal, tight game and then I think we'll get one on break in eight, you know, towards the end. Well, yeah. they're trying, yeah. trying to go. I think it's going to be one of them games. Yeah, we'll get goal. We'll get goal, and like it'll be a little bit like Cheltenham in a way, but mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I didn't think Cheltenham were ever going to score, but like at one 0 they're still in game. They're still in it, yeah. I agree. Yeah. At one, and like so tomorrow night it's one 0 They're still in game, and then I think we'll just hit them up break and get a second. Yeah. So I'll go two. I'll go two nil, and I'll go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Benson again, mm. and. Uh, I'm going to go Norwood. Benson Norwood. Good yeah. call. Uh, I've, got, I've gone for a bounce of win. Steve's gone for a bounce of win. So, people what's watching, are you all going to go for a bounce of win? Uh, as ever, Steve, it's been great to have you on. I uh, really appreciated it for your tech and insight into it, mate. Uh, ought to get you on soon. People what's I'm not watching? going. I'm, I'm not <laughs> going at all tomorrow. I'm not going. I've got some on, Neil. I've got some on. I, you know what I mean? I'm with this happy, though. The be this Saturday. I'll be this Saturday, Another yeah. Another game, Wickham. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, one thing left to say, you're right.